everybody. So today um, I want to talk to you about snow shovels. Um, it seems pretty basic, but there are a bunch of different kinds out there. The three biggest things you're going to see that are different is length of the handle, whether they're plastic versus metal, and then their width. Just keep in mind that there are cheap shovels out there. There's definitely a lot of medium grade ones, and then there's high quality. It just depends on the type of snow that you're shoveling. You know, very light snow that's really fluffy. You can kind of use any shovel if you're starting to get into a little bit of ice. Um, definitely pick the right shovel that's gonna work for your application. Today we have three different shovels here. We've got a, a cheap version, essentially, which is the one you see here. And then we have two that are kind of middle to higher grade snow shovels, which I'll talk about the difference and then we'll actually put them to use so you can see it. With this first one, this is definitely a cheap one. It's about 20 bucks, um, not terribly expensive, but what you see is the handle's really short and then it's plastic from end to end. It's not gonna be able to do a lot of the very intensive ice or cold snow that's gonna hit the ground and freeze solid. And uh, it's probably not gonna move a lot of that heavy wet snow either. So just keep that in mind. With these two, the two biggest differences is this one has a metal edge at the bottom the handle's a little bit shorter, but this is better for that ice accumulation and maybe that heavier wet snow. And then we also have this one. Um, the handle's a lot longer, gives you a little bit of back relief. Um, the base, the shovel itself's a little bit wider, so you can move more snow at the same time. It does have a plastic edge, so it's not gonna quite get all that ice that may be needed, but you can move a lot of snow with it and, and a little bit easier. They also make these uh, with ergonomical handles uh, which is a little bit easier on the back. So look out for those. Of course, they're a little more expensive, but they are a little bit more, uh, higher quality. So why don't we put these to use? All right, let's put the theory to the test here. Uh, this is our cheaper shovel that we have. Um, I'm gonna pick a spot on this berm. Um, you know, this is the perfect example because some of this is light, some of it's heavy. It's been piled here for a little bit following our big snowstorm. Uh, so let's see what this thing can do. So as you can see, for starters, it doesn't get underneath the snow very well. And as you lift up, it just doesn't get a whole lot of anything. You kind of have to break it apart in order for it to be effective um, because it's only gonna shovel that really light stuff right there. So let's try another one. You know, both of these are about the same, just so you know, the biggest difference is one has a wider base to it and this one has a metal tip. Uh, let's see if we can show a difference here. So you can see with that one, you can get underneath it a lot more. There's a lot more snow that comes out and you don't hear any cracking when you lift the snow up. So this is definitely a pretty good uh, snow shovel. It breaks it apart and you can really get underneath it and start breaking things out. Um, they do make these in full metal capacity too. So keep that in mind. Those are one of the best. Now with this one, even though it doesn't have a metal blade, it's really wide. Um, it's easy to handle. It's got a long handle to it. And uh, we're gonna hit this piece right here. So you can see it does really well. We're actually moving this whole piece of snow right here. And those are some pretty big chunks. So this is a definitely a good shovel. They make some that are even higher quality than this. Like I said, with uh, the full metal um, shovel part on the end. So with that, you can definitely see that there is a difference between um, snow shovels. You know, this is residential and commercial related. Again, it depends on the snow, depends on how cold it is, depend if it's wet snow, fluffy snow, heavy snow, that sort of thing. But with this visual, hopefully you can see there is a difference in quality. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe below and we'll hopefully see you very soon.